كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر أولو الألباب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما وبعد Surat Luqman, in the past sessions we discussed uh, about the, uh, the initial verses of this surah or the initial ayat of the surah. So uh, we discussed about how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to this book as uh, a book which has these, these ayat of wisdom and in which there is a guidance and and mercy for the doers of good, al-muhsinun, and uh, it uh, characterizes muhsinun as those people who establish prayer and give zakah, and they are uh, they have a fl- firm belief in the hereafter. And then it discusses people, you know, in in ayat in in verse number six and seven. Uh, people who buy the lahw al hadith, uh, and we discussed about how uh, the companion of the Prophet Allah uh, uh, described it as music. And uh, you know, these people they buy these, uh, these things, uh, and uh, so that they can mislead others from the way of Allah, uh, and we also. Uh, you know, uh, discussed uh, regarding with uh, you know their arrogance and their pride, which takes them away from uh, from Quran. Now, uh, after after uh, these things, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Inna al-ladina amanu wa amilu salihat lahum jannatun naim." Now after. These people, these evil people, uh, their characteristics have been highlighted. Now, uh, there's this mention of the people who are the doers of good. Inna ladina amanu. Verily, those, indeed those who believe, wa amilu salihat, and do righteous deeds, lahum jannatu naim, for them are the gardens of pleasure. For them are the gardens of pleasure. Now, in this ayah, uh, just like many other ayat in the Quran, uh, Iman and righteous deeds, they have been combined together. Iman and righteous deeds. Because it's part of Iman uh, to work righteousness, to be on a righteous path, to do righteous deeds. It's, including, it's, it's included in Iman. Because Iman is the statement of tongue it it is the belief in heart it's also the action of limbs so the actions are part of iman the actions are part of iman when a person does righteous deeds his iman increases when a person goes towards evil treads the evil path his iman decreases so iman uh, can go up it can go down it can also leave a person entirely, just like it can enter a person in whom there's no iman in the beginning, uh, who, who didn't have any iman. Now, he the iman entered him. Also, iman leaves a person who has iman. So, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتُ النَّعِيمِ So, for these people, who, who believe to righteous deeds, they have the gardens of pleasure. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا وَعْدَ اللَّهِ حَقَّ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَقِيمُ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا They're going to stay there forever. They're going to stay there forever. Wherein they abide eternally. It is the promise of Allah, which is truth. And He is the exalted in might, the wise. So these gardens for these people for eternity because this life subhanahu uh, subhanallah uh, if a person uh, 
uh, ponders over his life. There must be more to a human being than this worldly life. It doesn't suit for a human being, you know, to be in this life and to, you know, seek knowledge, gain experiences and pass through all these difficulties and, you know, uh, the, the tests and trials and tribulations of this life and then to die for nothing. No, there's more to it. A human being has an eternal life that's yet to come. Now, it's upon this person, it's upon this human being, where does he or she want to, you know, uh, live uh, in that eternal life? Where does he or she want to reside for eternity, in the life to come? So, for these people who believe and do righteous deeds, for them, there is this eternity of, uh, you know, pleasure. Pleasure which is not going to end. Khalidina fiha. They're going to abide therein forever. Wa'adallahi haqqa. This is the promise of Allah. This is the promise of Allah, which, uh, which is never going to fail. Ay hadha kainun la mahala. As the Mufassirun say, this is going to happen for sure. No doubt about that. Because Allah promised, promised it. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا وَعْدَ اللَّهِ حَقَّ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Al-Aziz and Al-Hakim Two names of Allah. Al-Aziz means someone whom no one else can overpower. Al-Aziz, exalted in might. No one else can overpower Overpower him, Al Aziz. Yani whatever he wants to do, he can do that. No one can overpower him. No one can challenge him in his acts, in his deeds. He does whatever he wants, Al Aziz. Al Hakim, the most wise. Al Hakim, the most wise. So he is Al Aziz. الَّذِي لَا يُغَالِبُهُ أَحَدُ الْحَكِيمُ فِي خَلْقِهِ وَتَقْدِيرِهِ وَشَرْعِهِ He is wise in his, in his creation. He is wise in his shara, in his legislation. He is wise in what he gives and takes from people. There's, in, in, in this all, there's a grand plan. There's a grand plan in everything. We'll continue. Uh, with uh, Surah Luqman uh, because we're trying to make uh, these sessions uh, around 10 minutes so we'll continue with this Surah and uh, we'll try to ponder over the Ayat which are, which are going to come next inshallah in the coming session so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because there's this mention of Al-Aziz and Al-Hakim so uh, this is from the etiquettes of reading Quran whenever you come you pass through ayat which are ayat of mercy you know you ask Allah from his mercy whenever you pass through ayat which are about the people of hell the, the, the wicked people the wrongdoers the evil people who deserve the punishment of Allah you seek Allah's refuge uh, from his punishment and you also ask Allah to help you stay away from these wicked deeds and evil deeds uh, when you have mention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, displaying his majesty, you know, just like in this ayah, Al-Aziz, this mention of Al-Aziz, and no one can overpower him. So whenever we, we, we find ourselves in difficulties, in difficult situations, we ask Allah by this name. We ask Allah by this name. That, oh Allah, you are Al-Aziz. No one can overpower you. No one can challenge you. Oh Allah, help me in this difficulty. Similarly, Al-Hakim, oh Allah, I'm, I'm satisfied, I'm content with whatever you have ordained for me, whatever you gave me in this life. I'm passing through this difficulty, I know for sure, oh Allah, that in this difficulty there's wisdom, there's good for me. So I must be patient. Oh Allah, you have given me these blessings, I know, oh Allah, there's this wisdom behind it. So I'm thankful 
to you, uh, you know, in these blessings. So this is how we should interact with Quran, and this is how the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us, and this is how the companions would do it. We'll continue in the inshallah in the upcoming sessions. Wallahu alam bi sawab. Hada wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sahbihi. في العلم صبرا فتسمه الصبور يخرج العلم بفأل مثل ريحان زهور وطلب العلم أخيف فهو درب به نور